Welcome to Ballhead and Metal Guys, and welcome back to another reaction. This time we're on to a band, Cobalt, with their song Juice X, which is a sub -ser Serbian speed metal, apparently. Uh, it's been requested by Big Homie Steve. How's it going, bro? Sorry it took me so long to get to this song. I try my best, by the way, guys. There's a lot of reactions that I get on this channel. I try to get to all your reactions. There's a shitload that I get. If you want particularly some reaction to be a little bit faster, I start a Patreon by the encouragement of you guys. So if you want something that right away, you can let me know down there. Uh, but I'll always take seriously every single reaction you guys sent me. It's just, it's like 20 or 30 a week. But anywho, I love me some speed metal. I love me some thrash metal. Motherfucker, let's go. I have a suspicion before it starts. This guy has a Hatebreed t-shirt. Now, I don't think Hatebreed is particularly a bad band. There's some good songs, but they're very simplistic. He's probably inspired by Hatebreed, but they're about to fucking murder Hatebreed. I think what's bothering me a little bit is the music video is being shot, I believe, in 60 frames, which is giving it that documentary style kind of uh, visuals. And then the, the palette that they've picked is kind of more uh, washed out, uh, which is in, I don't know if it's on purpose, maybe it was a mistake. So it's like, you know, the, the contrast doesn't match. Uh, because, you know, when you're shooting 24 frames, it has the film-esque quality, so it doesn't feel like like it's fast motion or something like that the song is not bad so far i can't say i am totally in love and I, I you know there's a high chance that the band itself could be watching this as well it's no disrespect to the band at all uh so far i i see the 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 the, the fire in the band and the skill but i want to see interesting songwriting so let's see what happens Yeah, it's there's some interesting riffs in there and the problem with speed metal and thrash metal now is a lot of us have grown up with that music and i'm sure these guys as well we look about the same age we all grown up with this music 
and i'm sure that in their hearts like we want to play some speed thrash metal death metal like kind of sepultura style we want to do it ourselves as well but you have to innovate the genre you have to do something different you can't copycat what's done before unfortunately this is an example of being too faithful to the genre that was popular in the 80s and 90s and unfortunately it has like thrash metal the, the good thrash metal bands stay timeless because of how good the music uh, songwriting is but a lot of newer bands that come out playing thrash metal they're not bad like i don't think i don't think this is bad it just it sounds harsh but it doesn't stand above the rest you know because there's so many thrash records coming out it's ridiculous and it's a dying genre for a reason because a lot of people don't innovate that genre what happens now is people incorporate thrash elements in their music but nobody writes thrash because they don't know how to take it further you know with melodic death metal they're doing that with black metal they've made it more melodic like they're doing the things with, uh, with doom metal you know there's in in inspirations going on for some reason thrash metal has become very stagnant and there's there's few bands that play like vector who are to me out of this world uh then there's power trip which is doing what's been done in the 80s but just doing it extremely well which is why nobody complains or warbringer bringing back that demolition hammer style kind of a band of havoc again innovating the genre a little bit on the sound uh whereas this band perhaps maybe it's just this song it's so far a bit on the simplistic side He also reminds me of Nuclear Assault's vocals straight up when he sings. Yeah, the second part of the song is much, 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 much better. Uh, now they're kind of spreading their wings. I think they kept it on that three minutes a little too long of playing the same riff and kind of getting through their vocals or through their lyrics. Uh, the second part is much better. Uh, but still, I am... I am left relatively... Like, I, I, I wouldn't be checking out this band on my own, honestly. And it sucks to say that because a lot of times, like I said, the bands themselves see these reactions and, and it can be hard to hear that about your music. And hopefully they don't take it close to heart when I say that it's more of like just an opinion of one person that, you know, I'm sure there's loads of people that really, really like it.
it's nice that they gave the ba bass player a time to shine and show what he's all about. Like I said, the after three minutes, I've I would say I actually quite enjoy the song. Uh, even if I wouldn't come back to it, I quite enjoy the song. The first three minutes were well, I've heard this before many, many, many times. It almost feels like there's two songs in there, and they just loved so much the riffs from the first part that they had to keep the whole thing together, where I think it would might have worked better as a shorter song. But again, I'm not a musician. I don't write music. It's just, a, again, the where, where I'm coming from. You know, I I think I might need to check out another song from this band because I, I feel it, it's too early to judge a full band based on one song. Um, perhaps it just wasn't the right song for me to check out from them at first, but it's a gamble, right? I, I get a reaction for a couple of different choices from the band, and then I have to just pick one at random. That's usually how I do it. I pick one at random. I find it to be a best thing because sometimes when people feel I like the most, I actually like the least. Right? So I found it to be the best to just go randomly uh, from the reactions that have been requested. And yeah, this one didn't do it for me much. Like I said, I liked the second part. Didn't much like the second, first part. Wouldn't really listen to this song again. Um, I mean, I wish the band luck and I wish them the best. So that, that, that this opinion won't even... Perhaps somebody will see this opinion of mine and actually be like, I don't know what you're talking about. I fucking love this and I want to hear the band now myself. Uh, but let me know what you thought, guys, down below. And that being said, guys, also make sure to enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe out there and keep it metal.